Well, I picked up myself a new welder the other day from Amazon and got it delivered. Um, I'm not going to do a video about how to use these. Uh, it's just going to be just a video about one thing to do with these gas and gasless welders. Um, it's comparatively cheap compared to the usual large MIG welding sets which are just usually used with gas like argon or you know, maybe a cam dark side for different metals. Um, this one um, I got because I didn't really like the idea of having a lot of gas bottles in the garage. Um, having said that it did come with a fairly small bottle of uh, cam dark side for fan welding a bit of steel with some normal MIG wire. However when you get these delivered um, they are set up to be used as gasless so the difference is clearly that you don't get a gas bottle attached to the back even though you get your carbon dioxide tank delivered with it it's a fairly small tank um, you don't have to use that straight away uh, and they claim that as this is delivered it is set up to be used as gasless um, this might not be the case uh, on closer inspection so let's have a look inside now as we all know inside one of these things you usually get about three important things you have your spool of MIG wire being fed as straight line as possible it's not quite straight because it's just a starter spool this is as straight as line as possible into the wire guide and that just goes down the uh, tube all the way to your electrode or your torch which is just here and when you squeeze on the trigger the MIG wire comes out and everything's hunky Um there is no gas being attached to this at the moment there's just an open tube so I am just using the flux cord wire it would be nice if that was upside down again so you could read it but trust me it's flux cord and the guide wheel on here is set up for 0.9mm flux wire which is this stuff so yep the wheel set up correctly um, but once I started to try and weld with this I got mixed results uh, I started off and I got something pretty terrible like that which is not very good um, you get a lot of flux but I mean I've had the wire brush on this to make it look as good as I can and you can see there's lots of little balls of metal all stuck and down and everything and it's pretty bad um, I went on YouTube to see if anybody had made any videos as to say uh, what could be the matter and the other important aspect in here is there is a positive and negative terminal now I'm trying to get as much light as in here as I possibly can but it's not the easiest thing to do maybe I have to turn this around a bit more now in here you can see there's a positive terminal here and a negative terminal over there and we've got of course a, a red clamp lead for there and a black clamp for the negative terminal now when you are doing flux cord wire what's recommended is that you have a positive earth what on earth does a positive earth mean? well there is two terminals when you're welding the clip that you attach to all your metal and that is the earth lead and that attaches hopefully a good connection to all your metal work and the bit that the wire comes out is your electrode now intuitively you would think that that would be a positive terminal and your black lead would be the earth terminal but not so I have now wired my welder up if I can get some more thing it you should be able to see that the red wire is going to the negative terminal, the black terminal and just behind there it's poor lighting, sorry, but the black lead that comes from the clip up there the black lead actually goes to the positive terminal 
the red terminal which basically means that the clip is positive earth now there's quite a few people online who thinks uh, that they've got similar results for either that's okay I've got very different results uh, I'm not an experienced welder uh, the only welding I've done was with a fairly terrible arc welder and the results I got were this um, as it was delivered i.e. the red wire was actually connected to the positive terminal which is intuitive that's usually what you would do for every, any other electric circuit the red wire always goes to the positive right well not so uh, when you are using flux cord wire um, I was a bit skeptical about the results of this so I went on YouTube tried to have a look around and they said yeah you'll have to check which way around your terminal goes um, for your wire that you're using but they didn't say which one um, so I thought well I better try and the results were a bit different that is when the red wire was connected to the red terminal um, not thinking that that was how it should be I tried the other way around which is now as you can see in there the red wire is connected to the negative black terminal and the black wire is connected to the positive red terminal and the results were quite different as you can see it's a very clean weld I've obviously had the wire brushed to this um, so you, at the end of this you're going to get flux sparking, sparking I may not have cleaned this side so well so you may be able to see that there's some brown lines of flux that I've not cleaned off uh, maybe one, one or two but uh, as you can see the quality of the weld is a hell of a damn sight better um, and that is with gasless uh, MIG wire and so with the clip being positive that meant that all this metal was positive uh, with respect to the electrode and the electrode was negative uh, I'm not clear on the reasons why this is important I think it's because they say that um, the negative power helps with the melt in metal I'm not quite sure but what I am sure of is the results are a lot different uh, you know I cleaned this metal up a bit it's probably got some kind of a coating on this I cleaned it up with a wire brush for 10 seconds on each plate laid them together clamped them and tried to weld away and uh, I suppose it's not perfect to some of you uh, experienced guys out there but if I'd have been able to get that kind of weld with an arc welder I'd have patted myself on the back uh, so I'm very pleased with the results but just beware when you get these delivered and they quote them as being wired up for gasless um, welding uh, you'll have to double check those wires in there and counterintuitively your red wire will have to go to the black terminal and the black wire will have to go to the red positive terminal otherwise you're going to get pretty crappy results um, I hope this has helped a few people um, I couldn't find anything else on YouTube that described this um, in such detail so hopefully we can all avoid having to send these things back because they are good little units and they're a good place to start and of course if you want to migrate later on onto uh, normal gas welding then uh, you can do but of course when you do that you will have to make sure that when you fit your normal solid MIG welding wire that you revert the red and black wires back round to their appropriate uh, terminals so for solid core MIG wire when you're using gas for what you're welding your red electrode lead coming from the torch will have to go back onto the red positive terminal and your black lead coming from the earth clip will have to return back to your negative black terminal and that is only for when you are using your standard solid MIG wire with uh, your gas
whether it be iron gone and carbon dioxide and a mixture of the two, depending on what metal you're using. So, hope this has helped. Um, happy welding!